Hello. So welcome to today's lesson. <clears throat> so today we're going through angular momentum, moments of inertia, and external torque of system of particles. And this happens to be a very important. Um, they happen to be very important topics in the study of theoretical mechanics. So I'm going to read a retired student of mathematics, KNUSD. And I'll be taking you through this lesson. So please don't forget to like the video if it helps you. And please subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you. So we will be solving a question here to illustrate these three concepts. And we'll be solving this question which reads a system or a system made up of two particles such that particle A is of mass 2.0 kilograms, position 4i plus 7j plus 3k, and linear momentum 6i minus j plus 2k. And also we have particle B, which is of mass 8.0 kilograms, position 4i plus j minus 6k, and linear momentum 3i plus 5j plus 2k, respectively. So we are supposed to find these three things from the question. So from the question, we are supposed to find the angular momentum of our system, calculate the moment of inertia, and also find the external torque on the particle E. If the falls I plus 9j plus 3k is exerted. So let's quickly run through our solution. So with the solution, the first part says you find for angular momentum, and we know that angular momentum is given by the formula. So rho, which represents our angular momentum. So the sum of our Ri's. So there are some of the cross products of our Ri's and our Li's, where our Ri is the position and our Li is the linear momentum. So you realize that with this question, for instance, we had two system of particles because we had two particles, particle A and particle B, meaning our N is equal to 2. So that means our I will be 1 and 2. So that means our Angular momentum will be the angular momentum of the first particle plus that of the second particle, right? So, we know from the question that the position of particle A is 4i plus 7j plus 3k. The position of particle B is what we can see here. The linear momentum of particle A is this. And the linear momentum of particle B is that. So, finding for the angular momentum of particle A, it will be given by the cross product of the position of particle A and linear momentum of particle A. And that will be given by this here. So we are supposed to find for the determinants of this 3 by 3 system. And we know this is going to be plus minus plus so reducing this gives us what we can see here which when we find the determinants of the two by two matrices um, gives us what we can see here and this can be finally simplified to 17i plus 10j minus 46k then finding the angular momentum of particle b is also given by the cross product of the position of our RB and the linear momentum of our B. So this will be given by this formula here. Oh. And when you find the determinants of this 3 by 3 matrix, you are going to end up with what we can see here using the same concept from the first approach. And this being simplified down gives us this here. And finally, when you find your final computation, you get 32i plus 10j 
plus 23k. So this happens to be the angular momentum of the particle B. So that means that our total angular momentum will be the sum of the angular momentum of particle A and that of particle B, which is going to give us this plus this here, which happens to be 49i plus 20j minus 23k. So this happens to be the angular momentum of the system we had. So the second part of the question says we should find for the moment of inertia. And the moment of inertia is given by this formula here. So you know that with this particular question, our end is equal to 2. So that means that expanding the formula, we are going to get to i starting from 1 to 2 mi ri squared, which is the same as um, m1 r1 squared plus m2 r2 squared. Alright, so where this is for particle A and this is for particle B. So we know our n is 2 and the mass for particle A is 2 kilograms from the question. And the position is 4i plus 7j plus 3k. The mass for particle B is 8 kilograms and the position is given by <coughs> what we can see there. So R1 squared is just the dot product of Ri. So it will be 473.473 <coughs> and this will give us 16 plus 49 plus 9 which is 74. Right and... That of our R2 squared will be the dot product of the R2, which will give us 53. So now, <clears throat> putting it inside the main formula, we are going to get our I to be 2 times 74 plus A times 53. And this gives us 572. And that happens to be the moment of inertia. Alright, so the last part of the question says... We should calculate the external torque on particle A if there is this force. So note that the external torque on particle A it will be given by the formula the cross product of the position of particle A and the force on particle A. And we know this is the force on particle A and the position on particle A is 4i plus 7j plus 3k so when you make that substitution we get what we have here the next thing is just to find for our cross product so now we have plus here minus plus here so this gives us what you can see here and finding the determinant of our 2 by 2 matrices gives us this and finally it gives us negative 6i minus 9j plus 29k and this happens to be the external torque on particle A if this force is exerted. So thank you very much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe to YouTube once again if you've not and please like the video if it helps you and I wish you all the best. Thank you.